Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, KCBO TV. Join me as we look at the top stories that made entertainment news this past week. Join me right after this. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, if you haven't followed me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, kindly follow me at KCBO1 and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, let's get straight into this week's top stories that made entertainment news. Kides Kifle, the wife of the Zambian award-winning artist Yo Maps, has been taken to court for denouncing a herbal product that she agreed to try out before promoting. The Congo Times still shep up pill for Congo Kwetu natural products in 2021. It is alleged that after the two months trial elapsed, Kidis made defamatory remarks against the company, which dented the image of the products and brought loss to the company. It is believed that on such a day, Kidis made the following remarks about the company, which prompted the owner to sue her for 800,000 kwacha. The matter is said to be in court and I will keep you updated each new week. Jemax posted this picture of him in such an outfit and people went crazy. They mocked the picture. But guess what? He was working on a song with Puri 4000 called Ndaluwa. You can check out the song on the YouTube channel as well as the official video. Zambian filmmaker Matthew Zill announced on his Facebook page that his book What a Man Wants from a Woman will soon be ready for purchase. Be on the lookout as this book is promised to be a must-have. Your Maps has released a new video for his song Mr. Romantic and my oh my, it's a must-see. Head out to Your Maps YouTube channel and watch the video. Patson Daka, the Zambian footballer's plans to build a hospital in Kafiwe are underway. Has the land has already been purchased? It was also Patson Daka's mother's birthday this past week. And it is rumored that he purchased a big car as a present for his mom. A happy belated birthday to the queen. Ben The Future has also released a new single titled How Could You which features Israel. Check out the song on Boomplay. TRP also released his new song which features Slab D and Malaiti Intep which is also available for online streaming right now. Now let's find out why Mwizukanji was trending this past week in case you missed what she had to say. Let's watch this. What are you doing having a country? What are you doing having a country? A lot of people who are doing a civil servant. Why are you doing a side chick? It was a civil servant. Who for a three pin for? Who's the child in a side chick? That's what. Why do people go out to look for a side chick? People have got different reasons. I'm going to go to the side chick. Wizo Kanji made the remarks on the Tikambe with Kanji show, which also featured Mainga, the Zambian fashion designer. And the public went crazy after the video came out. And that's what Simon Wewa Lane had to say about Wizo Kanji's statement. And Wizo Kanji later posted this. Hmm, otherwise, much love, yo. <laughs> so now tell me, guys, what do you think? about Mwizukanje's statements. Are you agreeing with her? Are you against? Was she in order? Was she out of order? I mean, that's her opinion, so... <laughs> oh my, Zambia Kchalo. <laughs> The Zambian filmmaker Mr. Owas Remwape has signed a partnership with his Indian filmmaker counterpart Jay and his partners. They are set to work on a movie and educate his students at the Oram Film Training Academy. It's Oram Taps into Bollywood. Neo has released a new single titled Back to the Sender and it is available for streaming on Boomplay. Now those are the stories that made headlines this past week. Tell me guys, which one was your favorite? And what do you have to say about Kidi's lawsuit and Muizu Kanji's statement about civil servants earning less 
and having side checks. You can leave your comments in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.